Hey gang, I just want to talk about uh, these uh, proportioning valves here, commonly referred to as proportioning valve, more technically known as a combination valve because there's three things going on here. Um, I'll mention those quick, uh, but my frustration with uh, how these are made, uh, people are using these um, in applications with 3 16 brake lines, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, they're not actually uh, all set up for that yet these things are all over the internet um, and people are using these for everything and may not be aware that um, there's some design issues that may uh, conflict with the line size uh, one would choose so we'll get to that in a second but real quick the three functions um, pressure differential real quick that's for the switch so if one of your circuits opens up, it goes leaky, there's a shift the valve in there to shut off one part of the system so you can continue to have brakes. Um, your delay valve, which I believe is in this section here, um, or metering, which ha holds off uh, the front brakes, allowing the uh, rear drums to act um, to balance things out a little bit in a nutshell. Um, then the proportioning valve section which uh, prevents rear brake lock up okay so that's why they call it a combination valve so there's actually three things going on but what I want to talk about here um, so be aware folks um, you buy these things and these were designed for Chevy trucks originally and it appears that these things are all over now people are putting them in everything rat rods and various other applications they are listed all over eBay um, with specific applications that I don't think that they're matched up for. More specific, this PV2 valve here, I call it PV2 because that's what it seems to be all over the internet as, has 3 16 ports all about it except for the rear circuit which that cone in there is for what I think should be a quarter inch line okay this nuts a little smaller than the thread there but the cone in there accepts a quarter inch line and then you get the right size nut to go with these things are being sold for applications people use them with 3 16 line in the back here uh, look a little closer when you go to do that and maybe contact your distributor and question that. Um, it will work. It may not leak, but it's not right. All the other cones in this particular one seem to be nice for the 3 16 line. I have a 3 16 line here. Um, I'm going to hold the nut back. That's your standard 3 8 um, thread nut that comes on most 3 16 brake lines. All right, you put that on a cone. That feels good. You're going to use that back here. It's going to sit on top. Of course, using the correct size nuts because uh, each one of these ports has a different size nut that you use. But you get the big nut for the three sixteenths line, and that's how you would assemble it. But my argument here is this. You see, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't seal on that. That doesn't even it slips all over. It doesn't lock on it. Like if you go to the the cone in here. Okay. So that's that's one manufacturer carrying this for a particular application that I need it for. Based on the Chevy's, I worked on a Chevy once years ago and they have quarter inch line running in the back. Most vehicles do not. The one I have does not. The one this was ordered for does not. It has three sixteenths running to the back. Be aware that's not gonna work. You need the quarter inch line, if you're working on a Chevy, that's fine, they're designed with that. That quarter inch line locks on that cone. Okay. Now, a little frustrated, that vendor is going to take care of me. Okay. They'll take it back. I talked to another vendor, expressed my concern. What's your output port like? Oh, they say it's 3 16 Okay. Well, I get it, I look at it, you know, it's a little smaller than the quarter. 
Okay. Then I go to the other ports. Why are they a little bigger? Compare it to the first one. Hard to see on camera here, but this second combo valve, the cones in there aren't the same as the first one. I liked those cones where the lines come in from the master. Alright, well this almost sits on there, but no, not quite, not quite. I'm not happy with that. Uh, they mill the middle of the top of that, that cone's a little bigger, the hole's a little bigger than the other one. The output to the rear. I don't know, I'm not convinced that that's for a 3 line. Let me get the quarter line here. Yeah, that sits on. That sits on. That sits on. So I ended up in a worse boat with the second one. Now I'm not going to tell you who this one's from, but it's from a specific one brand supplier, and it's helped me out with many other things. I mean, I don't want to knock anybody, but um, there's some stuff getting overlooked here, and this is brake stuff. Now come on, it's got to be right. Um, there's a couple couplings from your auto parts store, right? Threading a needle on camera here. That cone size, that gives you an idea what that's supposed to be. This is for 3 16 line. Here's an adapter, size adapter. This is for 3 16 line. Look at this cone. This gives you a better idea than that coupler I had here. That 3 16 line goes in there, centers locks in that looks pretty good that's the first valve but here's the second valve look at the size difference this adapter here I'm wiggling here that's got the correct cone for 3 16 line I don't like what's in this I'm calling it block number two. I mean, block number one and block number two. You look at them real quick, they're the same. So what are we going to do here? I think I'm going to go with number one. They were willing to take it back, but I think I'm going to hold on to it. I think I'm going to try and find a quarter to three sixteenths reducer. I hope to do it in one step. I have a couple fittings here that I can do it in two steps. Stuff I had laying around for years. Why should I have to do that? I'm ordering it for a particular application and I'm talking thousands of people are using these. I don't know. I'm not ASC certified here but I've been playing around with stuff long enough to know that I don't like what I'm seeing. Brake lines have to fit. That sits on that cone nice. Block number one here, right? So the rear port, too big. I can adapt that. Why should I have to? Well, I'll do it. Block number two. I thought I was talking to the guy on the phone. I thought I was set. So I said, send it. I get it. Uh, again, it might work. It's not right. I mean, it slides all over. So, that's what we're dealing with. Just pay attention. You're building a project using 3 16 line. Be aware. Now, one last thing while I have you. Each one of these ports is a different thread size. You got 9 16 out the back. Um, I'm losing track here, but there's, I think there's uh, 3 8 here. Yep, 3 8 here. And there's a 7 16 one. But basically, 
It's supposed to be designed for 3 16 line, and they make different size nuts for 3 16 line. You just have to get the right size nut for your port and for the line. All right, and the way you can verify what size line you have, it's just take a wrench, so you use your 3 8 wrench, your open end, and then put that on the threads on the nut. That's a 3 8. Okay, the next size up, 7 16 and half, and all the way up to 9 16. So, I hope this video helps a few people out there in uh, picking your correct line sizes and stuff, and um, also be aware. Uh, look at look at these things before you put them together, so you don't end up with leaks and worse uh, an unsafe cir circumstance. All right, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.